Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to write down Newton Raphson's formula for finding root A, where A is a positive number, and using that, we are going to find the value of square root of 5. So let's take x, which is square root of A. When we square on both the sides, we get x square equal to A. Using this, we have to write f of x f of x is by taking all the terms to one side so x square minus a now its derivative f dash of x is 2x now newton raphson's formula is x n plus 1 is x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n so we can substitute this. Now this is xn minus xn square minus a whole divided by 2 into xn. So we can take LCM and simplify further. The LCM is 2xn. This will become 2xn square and this is minus xn square when I take this minus inside it will become plus a now simplifying the first two term we get xn square plus a divided by 2xn so this is our formula of x n plus 1 so using Newton Raphson's method we have derived a formula for calculating root a now we are going to find the value of square root of 5. If I substitute the value of a as 5 here, we get f of x as x square minus 5. So I take f of x here, which is x square minus 5. If I find f of 2 which is 4 minus 5 minus 1 and f of 3 which is 9 minus 5 and it is 4 we notice it is changing from negative to a positive value and hence we come to know the root lies between 2 and 3. Now let's choose x0 value closer to 2. Let's take 2.2 because the modulus value of f of 2 is lesser than the f of 3. Now already we have a formula for f of that is x of n plus 1. So when I write x1 using this n is 0. So x0 square plus a so x0 square plus a where a is 5 now divided by 2 into x0. So using that formula we substitute n as 0 to get x1. And now this is 2.2 whole square plus 5 whole divided by 2 into 2.2. This value we are going to use calculator. 2.2 square then plus 5 this value divided by bracket open 2 into 2.2 bracket close totally it is 2.23636 when I round up 2 2.23642 2.2364 now taking this as x1, let's find x2, that is x1 square plus 5 divided by 2x1. So it is 2.2364 whole square plus 5 whole divided by 2 into 2.2364. Now again using calculator, let's take 
six four square value, then plus five divided by two into two point two three six four. Totally, it is two point two three six one. Two point two three six one. After rounding up to four decimal places. Now once again we go for the next value that is x3 which is x2 square plus pi whole divided by 2x2 so 2.2361 whole square plus pi divided by 2 into 2.2361 so using calculator we take 2 0.2361 square value then plus 5 then divided by bracket open 2 into 2.2361 bracket close once again we are getting 2.2361 after rounding up to four decimal places 2.2361 so x2 equal to x3 which is 2.2361 So we can say the better, the better approximate route is two point two three six one.